Wait, you just down the whole bag on top of it? No, bro, are you tr are you trying to give yourself diabetes? I what are you doing? That on camera too, bro. What is it? How many gushers are in a pack? Like eight? You know, no, don't lie. There's a bit more probably. And and come on, dude. More like twenty eight. No, no, not twenty eight. But why would you eat all those gushers at once? Like like that's not what each pack is for. It's not like an individual swallow. It's one flavor, so it is. <laughs> no, it's not. That's not how that works. Normally they're mixed. It's a whole strawberry pack. Is that the excuse you're giving yourself? Mm-hmm. Oh. I didn't have time to eat today. So I need one little fucking hit for the blood sugar. We're That's not do. food, though. Yeah, but it's like, I don't know. Sign, we have any snack bars over there? Uh, mm -mm. We ran out. Oh, I'm sorry. Really? I had the last one, actually. Oh, there. That's how we I ran didn't, out. I didn't have any of them, and then I had the last one. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I was watching... The peanut butter bar or whatever. <laughs> I've been watching that yeah. since I've been coming here. This time, <laughs> hold on. And they're gone. It literally blew my mind. This time, I made it a point to not touch it at um, all until there was one left. Until there was one left, and then I waited to see if anyone's gonna take it. And nobody took it for you like know who took a it? month. I took it. The peanut butter bars. No, no, no. Who who took the first? Oh, four? Pantelis did. Oh, okay. I watched. I, I made sure he he ate. So he you eat that shit, bro. I bought them for here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In case anyone's hungry. I, well, I would have eaten a peanut butter bar. Sugar-free peanut butter bars. Oh, they're sugar-free? Yeah, they're not, so they're not the best, but it's just a... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's all I needed, you know? Yeah. But listen, I had uh, fucking ramen, I don't know, you just ramen noodles or and poison. cold pizza or uh, candy poison. You literally ate like a Chinese prisoner. No, no, I had one <laughs> or, or, or. Like, I didn't have the ramen or the pizza. You angered the Communist Party of China, <laughs> and that's how you're eating. What yeah, is hey, happening? I got a coffee now. I got a uh, bottle of water. I haven't recovered. This is the first podcast I'm actually doing. I'm so when actually, did you get sick? Saturday. I started to feel it. But then Sunday. <coughs> dude, Sunday I was, you understand? I woke up because of the sweat. I was sweating all night, dripping sweat. I was dizzy. I thought I couldn't go perform for the Empire Shows Back. So I was like, there's no way. So I text him in the morning. I go, ah, like I'm just going to come last minute. Like I'm going to try my best to wake up and cold shower, hot shower, cold shower, hot shower. But if it was right now, there's no, we'd have to cancel the show. There's no way I could do it. Like that's how bad I was. Mm -hmm. And then I went to the show, bro, completely fucked up. <clears throat> I didn't even know what the hell was going on. Yeah. Dizzy, head no, hurting. Brain's not working. Yeah. No one noticed. Are you taking medication at the same taking time? Taking medication at the same time. So yeah, through that really fucks you up. And I'm mixing everything up too. I'm taking fucking whatever pills I can find. Dayquil. No, 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 no everything like it's a yeah. crazy cocktail. Uh, plus vitamin C, D, all the D, bro. I'm taking the D. Uh, everything, <laughs> Finally, bro. Everything that I can. And, and no one noticed. Apparently, the audience didn't notice. They go, "We didn't feel that he was sick, bro." I don't even remember what I said. Okay, dude, you must have gotten. Something similar to what I got in October of 2022. Remember on Mike's tour? Yeah. At uh, Club Soda, I felt the same way out of it. I didn't. I didn't even know what planet I was on. Well, that was funny too, because he got super mad on a podcast. It's like if you get COVID, you won't be able to come to that show. And I was like, oh, he's freaking out. <laughs> and then he actually gets sick. <laughs> he gets sick the day that that happens. But it wasn't COVID. I got tested. But it was like a mind fuck. Yeah. He's like, I'm going. You're telling me, and the best was the argument. You're telling me if I get COVID, I'm not allowed to come. And we're like, yeah, that would be the logical <laughs> route of things. The guys are diabetic. We're trying to avoid getting sick. That would be the logical <laughs> route of things. And then he was saying it so much, he actually got sick. He, he like caught something. Got, he went and got sick on purpose. He was like, no, you know, I don't. Gonna oh, no, I'm no. gonna get COVID, and I'm gonna go. No, I was, no, I was trying to avoid it because I, I was Mike's last show. I wanted to see it. It was. He didn't want to kill him. Soda. <laughs> so imagine like Poseidon like walking around like needing to not be sick, and right? And then just getting sick is the funniest well, thing. Well, no, he like his main goal for like seventy two hours is don't get sick. And he walks by a guy coughing in the street. He's like, "Hey, fuck you, bro!" Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> you're trying to ruin my life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just getting into fights with everybody in Bob. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, bro, I, I got rattled, rattled. I hate this feeling. I can't breathe. Yeah, no, it's horrible. And I have to sing and dance. And when you don't have time to just rest. Hardcore recover, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's rough. Um, yeah, no, it really sucks. It's getting sick when you're a kid is the best, and then you depends with what though. Some of these up. kids, they have like, yeah, leukemia. It's not good, bro. <laughs> it's not. It's not fun. <laughs> you're not tough enough. But no, you get a cold when you're a kid. It's fun, you know. I guess I never like getting cold at all. I'm not the cold guy. 
Oh man, I'd go to grandma's house for the day. She made me soup. I'd get all the fucking like the sickness treatment. No, if I wanted that, bro, I would just pretend to be sick. But that I didn't like being sick. I did that a lot too. No, I didn't mind, bro. I've always been able to tank it. Oh, I fucking hate it. Like right now, 50 50, bro. If you gave me a gun, I'd kill myself. Just to end this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just to. Well, yeah, when it's really bad. Like when I, when I lacerated my spleen to get out of like the constant pain that was living like that was horrible. Oh my God. But a little. Lacerated spleen. Yeah. How did I that fell, happen? I fell while I was snowboarding. I, yeah. You don't look like the snowboard type. I was. <laughs> I lacerated my spleen. I uh, I fell. Now how do you lacerate your spleen? Damn! Look at that. Oh, is that where the spleen is? Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, right right by your stomach. Okay, because the first thing was looking. I was like, is that the lungs? What the fuck? Loki, because of this, I'll always know where like the four like things are. Holy the shit! The appendix, the liver, the spleen, and the, the other one. Is there another one? <laughs> there three? There's, there's you got other stuff in there. <laughs> you got a wrench. Um, and uh, I fell with my uh, hands into the ground and my elbows into my stomach. And my elbow just full force went into my stomach, cut open my spleen. And I look at the instructor and I'm like, something's wrong. And he thought I hit myself in the nuts. And he's like, bro, jump on your heels. So I start jumping on my heels. Bro, my spleen is cut open. I'm like gushing oh, blood in, like, internally. Uh, I would love to sue that guy. And I'm telling him, I'm like, bro, I Why really, am I jumping? something's wrong. And he's like, well, go to the infirmary if you want. I'm like, how do I get down the hill? He's like fucking ride bro so with a lacerated spleen i had to snowboard down the hill bro i was falling over and over again this is a good adult it was this fucking 18 year old probably you know i was like 14 and then i get to the elevator so hold on you were actually gushing blood like internally oh shit my my internal bleeding was it was in so much internal bleeding i should have died uh there's one reason i didn't die and it's because i'm a fat fuck and i ate two full meals so my stomach blew up enough to put pressure on the spleen and slow the internal no bleeding way. and then that's when you're like look guys i'm committing <laughs> i'm committing to this fat thing <laughs> It saved my life. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's literally like the doctor told me, and I go, good, it's a good thing I ate that extra burger and fries. It's a really good, and a fucking tall can of monster. And he's like, I've never said that before, but uh, <laughs> in this scenario, it worked. This is what it looks like. What is that? It's a lacerated, lacerated spleen. spleen. All right, you don't have to show us that, dude. So then, yeah. bro, I get to the I get to the elevator, and it's like, by the time I get to the elevator, like I've lost so much blood, and I'm just crashing. I like fell in the elevator and then the elevator doors open and I literally I'm crawling out like I couldn't stand up anymore. I crawled out. I got into the infirmary. I pushed the door open. The lady was just sitting there like reading a magazine or something. She's like, oh my God. They ran over to me, bro. They cut off my shit. They fucking. They uh, opened you up? Yeah. They opened up my shirt. No, like, but did they, they cut you open? No, 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 no. They brought me to the hospital. Okay. They brought me to the hospital. Um, the ambulance was horrible, bro. Every bump. Oh, my God. And then I just wanted to sleep, and they wouldn't let me sleep because you sleep, you die sometimes in that situation, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. Uh, but I was still cracking jokes the whole time. You sleep, you die. That's how I live my life. That's why I'm always tired. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Dude, did you see what happened to your good friend, P. Diddy? Yo. I don't know if you've been paying attention. My good friend, bro. I'm, I'm Friend of the show, up. Puff Daddy, <laughs> isn't some legal hot water? <laughs> Allegedly, is that those, what we can say? Allegedly, those parties we were going to, I didn't go to those. There was oh, you I were said there. no every I time. Have, I have pictures of you nope. there with me. I said no every nah, single nah, nah. time. I got pictures of you there with me. And even that, you see that song right there? Actually, go up, funny Poseidon. enough, only Poseidon when he said, said that. No, I need a girl. I was like, stop lying, bro. We know Poseidon what you said, <laughs> "I'm not going to P Diddy's parties. They're doing some weird shit." <laughs> no, yeah, it, it's been in the talks for a long time. The cat uh, Williams, he said it. A lot of people have said that. Of that he's got some weird ass parties. I have heard the rumors that he was behind the murder of Tupac Shakur and Biggie. No, and Biggie. Yeah. Cause th doesn't he own the rights to all of Biggie's music yeah. after Biggie passed? Yeah, yeah. Which is insane. After Puffy found out Fifty Cent cameo with F and vodka, Puffy sent Fifty Cent a lifetime supply of Ciroc. All right, well that's not incriminating. I'm trying to. Let me go on Twitter, bro. Twitter has the droops. Twitter. Oh, you haven't heard about this story, Poseidon? I have. He basically, uh, okay. So what happened was. <laughs> <laughs> when the story starts, it's Poseidon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me, let me set the record straight here. <laughs> so he's been uh, found guilty of uh, sex trafficking. Now, whether. That's the, look, if you're going to be stuck in traffic, that's the best kind. <laughs> <laughs> So he's been uh, found guilty of sex trafficking, but, like, heavy sex trafficking of, like, minors and stuff like that, like, which is apparently in connection to, like... Uh, I got to stop you right away. What? He has not been found guilty. 
Well, accused. There's a warrant out, bro. But that's two very different things, bro. Completely you just different. You're right. Thing. Sorry. He's, um, been, he's been found guilty. No, not found guilty. He's been, <laughs> he's been accused of sex trafficking, and there was a warrant out. And basically what happened was the but feds. But did you guys hear what the theory is? The, cause, because uh, Homeland Security raided his house. Apparently, they were going to fucking destroy the evidence. I heard that, too. Because oh. he has videotapes on like the people that went to his parties. Yeah. And they're like princes, politicians, Oprah, Zin salesmen, all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, the the feds coordinated a a, a raid at his uh, Miami mansion, L.A. mansion, and uh, New York mansion. And he dipped. He apparently escaped through a tunnel. In a his, tunnel. Uh, oh, in his, taking a page out of your guys' yeah. book. Look at that. <laughs> why, do his, you think, <laughs> why do you think I was invited to the parties? In yeah. his, uh, from his LA mansion, apparently there was a tunnel leading straight to like, uh, I don't know, like close to like the airstrip or whatever. And then apparently he took off in his private jet and it was supposed to land in Antigua or something where there's no extra. Uh, but it went to it Miami? Was, uh, extra it was laws. Cape Verde or something. Cape yeah. Verde, but it got grounded in Antigua or something. I don't know. Anyways. Uh, but but I saw there was a video of him in Miami. Yeah, he was in Miami a few yeah. days later, just chilling. Yeah. <laughs> and apparently that was a decoy. And yeah, he stayed in the U.S. He's got a body double. Yeah. No, no, no. The plane was the decoy. Because, yo, I watched the show Billions. And, like, there's a point where, like, one billionaire is about to get arrested. And the other billionaire is like, look, I know we're enemies. But I don't want one of me to lose. I don't want you to get arrested. I just want you gone. He was like, I'll buy your company for half the value, but you got to fuck off to some stupid country and you never get to do anything again. And it's just like, to the, like you know what I mean? Like, puffed, if he could go to Africa and be good forever, yeah. wherever he was going to go, you know? Um, he's going to stay in Miami because he just wants to fucking stay in the juice. He doesn't want to let go of like what he has in his life. To him, he just goes chills with billions of dollars. You know what I mean? What's He's never going to get what he wants. Like... He's so stupid. I just go somewhere cool and just but fuck off. It's too late. He's oh, what's that? I like this Asian guy. Yeah, yeah. He always explains things. Yeah, yeah let's see well. what he's saying. He's very well. He's a very well spoken gentleman. Yes, he is. Take that, take that. In 2020, <laughs> have they canceled Diddy yet? Take that, take that. In 2022, the Tate brothers were accused of sex trafficking without official charge for alleged incidents seven years ago. Immediately, they lost access to all social media, banking, and payment processors, and the global mainstream media went to town on them. In 2023, <laughs> Russell Brand had an investigation for sexual assault opened on him for incidents that allegedly occurred seven years ago. He was demonetized from YouTube, deleted by the BBC, <laughs> fired by his agency and sponsors. All right. In 2024, Diddy, take that, take that, had four <laughs> open civil Hold on, lawsuits. hold on. Okay, bro, am I high right now? I don't understand if this is real. What? Am I high or did I imagine that? No, 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 that's real. <laughs> also, fun. it's just like, I know I shouldn't say this, but like this guy, bro, he fucking. He's a robot. He had an accent as a kid and it, it, he's we worked so hard to get rid of that accent. It's take like, that, take that. I don't understand what's <laughs> happening. Bro, I should go. I thought I was about to faint. I go, oh, fuck, you're dying, bro. I thought I was dying. I thought I was hallucinating. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because no, no, because he's uh, holding viewers, you know. Because there's audio of him. It's going, yeah, take that, take that. So now they're calling me P Diddy, take that, take that. Okay, like, but the way uh, if you rewind it just a little bit, it felt like I was like, okay, this is the simulation is broken. I'm dying. <laughs> no, no, I get it. Sponsors. though. in 2024, Diddy, take that, take that. Had four <laughs> open civil lawsuits, a U.S. federal investigation, countless prior lawsuits settled out of court over the last 20 years, and recently. Homeland Security came in pew pew blazing to raid <laughs> allegations. Bro, I, are you guys? Am I murder. dead? Bro, it's a TikTok. It's a TikTok. What do you am want? Am I dead? <laughs> Did I die in my sleep? What the hell is happening? Bro, this uh, guy's hilarious. I like pew him. pew. Don't forget that. <laughs> ching ching ching. <laughs> Sex trafficking, child prostitution, drug dealing, and secretly recording clients, <laughs> associates, friends, and guests to extort them. But somehow, <laughs> he is still going live on social media. Oh, his entire playlist like, is available crazy. to download and to listen. Do it, like, and I, I really, I hope that, that clip. I hope that clip is from before <laughs> this all happened. That's insane. If that's really like the current, the fans is after is me. Watch me shake. The fans is after me. Watch me shake. P did it. Did it. And and I haven't heard of any banks dropping him. Kanye, yay. 
got banned from Meta and Twitter, lost his major brand deals, dropped by his banks for his words. That's because he talks shit about them bank owners. You feel me, Drew? (laughs) 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 Oh, bro, you know know Moses the jeweler? Yeah, yeah, he makes me laugh. Like so I saw his clip okay. where he said his favorite rapper is Kanye. I still love I, him, man. I died. I, saw, I thought of you right away. He said, my favorite rapper. I'm going to get a lot of heat for this. It's Kanye, man. He he inspires me so much. It's so good because he's such a, he's, he's a, like a very religious Jew. Like, he does all the shit. He is a religious Jew yeah. with his shirt open. He lo- <laughs> looks he's like, not a Hasidic, but he, bro, he's kosher. He's fucking, you know, I think. First of all, if you know. No. Well, they, they they make it seem like they are, no, and no. I'm just wondering if like maybe they're behind like closed doors if they actually stick to it. Yeah, you know? a lot of those people that make it seem like this is the way you gotta do, they always fuck around, bro. It's just it's such an actually like strong connection in their business, like that you have to be, you know, Jewish. Yeah, interesting. It, it helps what, what so much. I'm saying it helps a lot. So you're saying if I wanted to change careers, get into the jewelry saying, business. Stay out of the fucking watch business. They won't let me in. <laughs> stay the fuck away from yeah, the that's, watch that's and what they're gonna industry. say. I'm gonna be like, hey guys, I'm here. I would like to join the watch and diamond team. And they're gonna be like <laughs> <laughs> they're, gonna, they're gonna they're gonna throw you a bag of fake G Shocks and go hit the metros, buddy. Yeah. Hit the metros, you scumbag. <laughs> go sell them forty bucks each. You could keep ten percent. Yeah, and then be like, oh, that's how you want to fucking play it? <laughs> All right, we're going scorched earth. I'm burning everything down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're just gonna make you sell Casios. Yeah. Yeah. Go press play. Oh, sorry. The longest list of allegations of crime I've ever seen, even darker than Jeffrey Epstein. What? Yet he's still online. Why? Side note: as this Diddy saga of trafficking unfolds. Mega influential associates are also starting to get questioned. Guys like Jay Z and LeBron. Do you know who is never associated with that list of seriously questionable individuals? Yay. Isn't that interesting? So, okay, that guy's English is probably what the peak of my French could be. The peak, if I really try to. Him? Like, speak oh, French that's a well. great. That would be great French. Yeah, but the more like. He doesn't say like the two. What? I don't know. He like like he'll like skip a couple words and he has a lot of problems with the L's. <laughs> no, he was, his L's were good. No, yeah. He said instead of realistic, he said realistic. <laughs> <laughs> realistic. No, I like this guy a lot. He simplifies shit. I like yeah. him. It's just take he that, says take that. yeah. He's just some weird shit like that. I'm like, bro, am I hallucinating? <laughs> no, it's a TikTok. You have to. It's like if you want to keep the kids watching, you got to do some shit. Just like random that. shit. Yeah. Let me tell you kids about George Washington. Dab, dab. Uh, he was like, that's crazy. What is he saying? What is this, Poseidon? What are you looking at? Yo, man that shot up Trump National Hotel in 2018 reveals he's one of Diddy's sex slaves. Well, that's not true. Bro, yeah, that, imagine you just he like. He claims that P. Diddy, Combs, uh, Rick Ross, and DJ Khaled are all gay. Oh, okay. That is true. They are. Honestly, right. I'm not surprised. Yeah. I don't mind. But who cares about that? Actually, it would make sense. But who cares about That's just a crazy person trying to get out of jail. He saw that. They're talking about Diddy. Because why wouldn't you have said that earlier? And also, if Diddy's going to get sex slaves, it's not going to be fucking Bubba from the hardware store. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, I like this guy. (laughs) That's not the big hard catch. The industry parties, though, I have heard about that a lot. And um, Can you look up up P. Diddy? Uh, Justin Bieber sleepover. Forget the Bieber sleepover. I heard a guy saying, I heard another, you you know, like, um, you know, it was like barbershop. Podcast where it's black guys in the barbershop. Yeah, I thought yeah, yeah. it was these rappers, and one of them was like, he was saying it. This was like a year and a half ago, and people called him crazy. And he's like, no, I, I I know what happened. In those fucking parties. He goes, that's why I don't go there. They want your ass, and you're saying shit like that. People are like, don't exaggerate. He's like, I'm telling you, that's what fucking happens. And then one of them said, that's why I hate Kanye. And he goes, why? He goes, oh, you know who said he hates Kanye? Method Man. Method Man said, dude, fuck that. I hate Kanye. I remember I wanted Diddy's parties. I walked in the bathroom. I saw him sucking someone's dick. He goes, fuck that guy. <laughs> God damn! Yeah. Not our boy, yay! He's not my boy. But you, you think you think they have videos of everyone? Is that what they do? They make you suck dicks and then they take videos of you and then he tells you play with me. There was, but then why? Uh, so why isn't Kanye playing nice? With I them? do also think that there's a lot of them who like have to just stay closeted because if they in come the rap out of the game, closet, yeah, like yeah. Meek Mill. Uh, I think Meek Mill had to stay. Now it's over. Everyone you, knows that. You he's, know this. Hey, 
The, the thing with Meek Mill that could be crazy is if it's just like a different Philadelphia rapper. The only reason people think it's Meek Mill is because of the wording in a vague description. And it's like, yes, Meek Mill would fit the description, but it didn't say Meek Mill. It didn't say whatever. It said a Philadelphia rapper. There are many Philadelphia rappers. No, that is true. However, have you you've heard Meek Mill speak? What do you mean? You know they're calling him Meek Mill. Yeah, it's Meek Mill. Like just like speaking interviews, or when he talks about this. I know. I mean, no? I don't know. He's. I've been seeing him on Twitter, like denying shit. Yeah, but the way he denies it is amazing. Okay. Okay. It's so very incriminating. Even apparently Denzel Washington knew. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I saw him fighting with DJ Academics. On Twitter, yeah, he always does. He gets mad at everyone, Meek Mill. Yeah, but also I saw that video of Meek Mill in the pool with uh, Diddy. Uh, yeah, and well, what's this? I don't know. He's doing some weird dance. Uh, should we put him in an interview to hear him? Um, uh, yeah, there was the pool one. If you go, there was the one where he's by the pool. I okay, brought this dude, up. I brought this up uh, on the intellectuals like a few y- weeks ago. Yeah, but this is he's using he's using uh, Twitter as Google again. It's yeah, amazing. This one, yeah. Love it. Is it this one? Yeah. Press play. Hold on, I must put it up. Low key, it works. Twitter as Google really works for videos. Mm. They have everything, bro. Okay, son. Man, you doing it, man? You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Yeah. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. Know. What's that? I don't know if that's if that's proof that he's getting banged. They're no, using this is definitely not proof. No, it's not it's proof. just like, yeah, you, They're saying you, hear, it's you hear the allegations and then you you watch this video, you feel a little uncomfortable, you know? Yeah, it's uh yeah. I just want to know how I would have felt watching that video. Two he, weeks before the allegations, you know? he Meek Mill looks like he's uncomfortable by Diddy's presence yeah. in that video. But a lot of these rappers feel uncomfortable around him. I thought it's just because he's intense. Because he says stupid shit all the time, Diddy. I'm trying to find like a damn interview. You know who would know whether or not he was actually... Nicki Minaj would probably know. Apparently, she came out saying that he was uh, like years ago. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. She dated him. Apparently, that's one of the reasons she like broke up with him. Like she had to put a strap on and shit. Oh, he liked. Uh, he got used to what Diddy was doing. Yeah. That's weird about the rap game. That no matter who you are, you can't come out as gay. But then you have gay rappers who are like killing it. Like Lil Nas X. Yeah, all his stuff goes bangers. Lil Nas X. Like he had one song. And he's like, I'm gay, by the way. And it's just and like. I said this before, like everyone, like whatever, they're in their own thing, like coming out of the closets, like their choice when they do it. Yeah. But it's just like you're you're lying to everyone that you know at the same time, right? So like I love McConan. I don't know if you remember that guy. No. Uh, you remember the song The Club Going Up? Uh, so that guy. On a Tuesday. Exactly. That He's gay. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, what's the, so what's the problem? Do you That's like his music? He <laughs> hung out. No, 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 there's no problem. I like his music. I like, I like Elton John. Like. Elton John's gay. What love queens. Is, is They're all a bunch of queens. All I, love, I love that shit. When he came out of the closet, all his friends were like, yo, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, you could have told me you were gay. Like, when you like we Judas were, Priest? Rob Halford, he's gay. There's nothing wrong. With there's nothing wrong. There's so gay. many good musicians. Who what gives a shit who they're banging? The way that he did it, like all his friends were like, "Dog, come on, you know." But if how did he just, do it? He waited years to like. And then he's the like, closet. "Look, I'm gay and I've had sex with all my male friends." And I'm like, "What? <laughs> <laughs> that that last part may not be true." Yeah. Well, that's it too. Maybe like I don't know. Who knows? Or do you think they're all playing an elaborate prank? No, it's what happens is especially in the rap game because <laughs> it's just it's it's very it, it, it's a lot of street gang related type of like um, iconography. Yeah. So you don't want to be perceived as weak, and it's always been perceived as like soft, you know, because okay. it's more feminine. So you don't want to be associated with that. But then you have like Lil Nas X, who's like, I'm not making gangster music, I'm making fun music. So I'm not gonna change who the fuck I am. Like this is me, and I think it's in the end nowadays it's way easier to just be yourself. Yes. So 100%. that you don't have to constantly be stressed out yeah. and have fake girlfriends. And sh- that must be fucking crazy. Crazy. It must be very stressful and annoying too. Yeah. No, who gives a shit? I don't care. I like. I think Lil Nas X is. Uh, he makes bangers. He just tries to get too much attention. One of the like all the Satan shit and all that, the yeah. Jesus stuff and all. He does it. I know why he's doing it because heavy metal bands did the same thing. Yeah, yeah. In the eighties, in the seventies, I get it, but people overreact. But you don't need that when the music is good. He has oh, bangers. Bro, I know this guy, who uh, when we were in high school, he stole this book 
from like the the secret or not not the secret, but like the library that you're not allowed to even like take the books. Like the gay the, library. <laughs> he has the gay agenda. <laughs> he does. It's crazy. I read it. Um, it was this book on like uh, satan satanic rituals. Oh, and there was one that like get famous, and him and his boys did it, and like I know he really committed to doing it, and like. He's not famous yet, but his shit's working out. Are we talking about Harley Mornstein? Who are we talking <laughs> about? Who is this person? <laughs> Do we this know? This guy, um, I'll show you him after, but like, he was this Kramer kind of guy. Like, he was this like low energy Kramer, like wacko, like kind of like, but he was like, he knew kind of what was going on, but he was always weird and like, now, bro, he's like an actor. He's getting a bunch of shit. Shit's happening for him. And I'm like, maybe that's satanic ritual. Maybe he's like, you know what I mean? Maybe. Maybe he's like a very, very, very low level Illuminati. <laughs> the lowest level there is. I, I heard, you know what I found out beside? And I don't know how true it is, but because I, I, I love hearing black guys talk about stuff on YouTube. <laughs> and uh, there was black guys discussing how it's Illuminati versus the Masons. Like they don't like each other. Okay. Yeah, 100%. All these, all these secret societies are all always trying to... Um, Out fuck each other. <laughs> basically, yeah. Basically, they're, they're always trying to... Claim dominance. I was like, yeah. Oh, you know what else it's I realized? Like ISIS and Al Qaeda. Yeah, they're kind of homies though. But you, you know, you know what I realized, Poseidon? Yeah. That people are, are pieces of shits. Like no joke, humans the majority. And you know how I realized it? Because of Ukraine, Israel, Palestine, all that. I was listening to stuff online th th this week, and I was like, huh. People are actually pieces of shits, and someone needs to call them out on it. It's all fake. All the people, and we know people yes. post every second post is about Palestine. And stop the war and all that. And I know that they're phonies. Like, they, they don't know what they're talking about based on what they say. Because you know what I realized, Poseidon? Yes. All the outrage and focus on, on uh, the people. Start looking at people who say this. This is how I realize that you're a piece of shit. The outrage is never on the actual actor. It's who you're killing. Wait, repeat that? It's never on the... Uh, the outrage should be on the fact that innocent people are ah. dying. Yeah. In anything, right? In a in the Ukraine, in Palestine, in Israel, the most outrageous thing should be like a human life, which you can't actually put value on, has been snuffed for one reason or another. That should be egregious. It should be uncalled for. But they're all bending over backwards, depending on what side they are, to justify theirs. Which is fucking crazy. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, it's completely insane, and it makes the you sad part about when Palestinian kids are dying. You know, you know what's sad about that, Poseidon? That kids are dying. Yeah, that's the sad part. Not that all oh, these Jews with their money, and that's what makes it bad. It's not what makes it bad. I don't care how they die. I don't care if a kid dies by a rock or a rocket. If a kid's dead, the sad part is that the fucking kid is dead. That's what's sad. When an Israel, same thing. If it's an innocent person, the fact that an innocent person is dead, the problem is. That an innocent person is dead, not their skin color, not. But they keep. You know what? Okay, I, I agree with it's you. It's fucking crazy. No, no, because. But they, I want to give you like um, just kind of. But they like do the comparison. same thing with Russia. They do the same, and I'll tell you guys why. Because Russia, innocent fucking people died in that theater. When the theater got shot up and blown yeah, up last yeah, week, you saw that shit right, beside him. You know what? Nobody, no one changed their fucking nobody, flags. Nobody yet. Yeah, yeah. Nobody gave. No them one changed their fucking empathy. flags. Who? Or these people were just going to the fucking theater. Nothing to do with a war. Nothing to do with any innocent fucking people. That could have been your family. That could have been. But people didn't give a fuck because they've decided. Well, I'm on this team now. Yeah. So it's not life that matters. It's not innocence. It's not reason. It's my team. So fuck you. You're not a good person. You're a piece of shit. You're right. You're and, not a good person. And I noticed it too that people were kind of quiet about that. And I was very, I was looking, I was sick too. I was like, okay, I don't have time. Whatever. And I was waiting, waiting, waiting. Nothing. And I go, are these people fucking insane? Are these people, how are we not outraged? Everyone should be outraged by this. And I would be outraged the same way if it was in a Turkish place, if it was in a Greek place. Innocent people got shot up. We should all be outraged by it. Mm. We should all be out Like the... The, did you see the guy from Quebec who went to Gaza to help yeah. with food and stuff and he got killed? That's devastating because it was a guy who didn't need to be there. He went there because he felt humanitarian-wise, I want to help these kids. They're innocent. He didn't go there to fight, to kill. He went there to try to help as many people as he could. He's an innocent person that got killed. That's a sad part. The fact that some people are like, well, he shouldn't have fucking been. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not. That's in, Then you don't care about human life because there's no excuse for someone. Anyways, it's fucking... It's absurd. It's absurd. So I see how fake people are, and they don't actually care. They pretend to care, and it bothers me, bro. It fucking bothers me. It bo the, the, and the Russia thing is the best example. Russians, bro, they, 
Re- innocent people going to what's the because the what government went to the war. Russian thing. No, but people go to we're gonna get that. In a second. I want to talk about yeah, that too. Yeah. But people go to war. Okay, Israel's going to war. Canada, bro, okay, we're involved in all these wars. We're helping the Armenians get extinct. We're helping the Turks. Yeah, we're giving them their drones, all that. So because of that, should every Canadian now? Should every Armenian want to kill every can? And if any Canadian dies, the justification is well, your government is at war somewhere else. So if you die in a drive-by or whatever, it doesn't matter because no, that's insane. If you start doing that shit, first of all, then you go back to being racist because that's what racism was, right? You don't judge anyone by th- their individuality and the content of their character. You judge them as a group. That's what you're doing now to people. Mm. And I noticed it this weekend, and it really fucking bothers me that people are so two-faced. They just put a flag, whether it's an Israeli one, a Palestinian one, a Ukraine one, and they go, I'm on the right side. You're a fucking idiot. You don't want peace. You want your side, but you don't think long-term and you, none of that shit. It's just, yeah, they can die as long as we don't die. That's insane. That's fucking crazy. That's all I wanted to say. Tell me about the Russians. An eye for an eye made the world. It just made me, it just made me angry, bro. Uh, like no, I nobody you. gives a fuck. I get you. Nobody, nobody actually gives a fuck. No media. Yeah, nobody was like, oh, these uh, these poor Russians at the theater. Nobody, nobody gave, and, and there wasn't even like one person. This is a human. Li- these are human lives. Well, it was. I I I saw a lot of shit on Twitter, but yeah. I didn't really see anything anywhere else. But that's also maybe we're not seeing it because like of the the news being suppressed in Canada now, like on no, social no, I, media. But like uh, even like right now, let's say we're on Twitter, right? You're still going to see all the other flags. You saw people. I remember in Paris when the same thing happened in Paris, everyone changed their flags. Everyone put the, the Parisian flag, the um, uh, Fr- France, the flag of France as their avatars. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. They did it for the Ukraine. They're doing it for Palestine. Some people do it for Israel. Every, for Armenia. These guys, no one. Because right now we've been indoctrinated that this is the enemy. Which, by the way, uh, uh, a country that we know now a million percent, we pushed, we provoked into a war. Because we want to fucking... Yeah, we want to destroy them. We uh, backed them into a corner and sacrificed... So, the whole, we sacrificed an entire nation, the Ukraine. We just sacrificed their youth. So we just the, sent them to the slaughter. It was, it was four guys, I think, that did the... The four they caught. I don't know if anyone else was in it. Okay. But they caught. They tortured they the fuck all, out of them. They were all from like, what? Like Turkmenistan or something? Yeah, That's they were... looked like? They were headed to the Ukraine border. Okay. But we don't know if it's... Well, at the time, they didn't know if it was because... Um, there was any connection to the Ukraine or they thought they're going to give us asylum because we just attacked the Russians? Well, so what I saw was that they got contacted on Telegram. By yes, people. that I knew. And they got like, I think $10,000 each or something like that to go do that. Um, and it's just crazy to like, I don't know, think that like that's on the table now. But it's like these guys, if they're getting contacted, they're somewhere. They're already in a group that they're like willing. They're not just random dudes who are like, it's not like a baker who's like getting a Telegram message like, hello, would you like to be a terrorist? <laughs> They're part of a crew. Putin's name covered up on 9-11 Memorial in New Jersey. You see? Yeah, so he had gifted. Remember when 9-11 happened a few years later? I think he had gifted. Uh, it's called the Teardrop Memorial. I'm just going to show it for people that don't know. Uh, <clears throat> uh, and I think it was uh, in, in gold, and they etched all the victims' names and the people that contributed or something. Yep. And it's basically the Teardrop Memorial, you know. So, so I'll tell you why I'm against this, too, this erasure of history, Okay. So that, like, we're going to get his name out of here. But his name is there for a reason. It's his contribution to that thing. Whether you erase his name or not, he contributed to that thing. For it, sure. It's not related to what's happening now. When was this that they took his name off? Like, when is, what's the 2022, date? I think. When the war started, two years ago, no? It doesn't, it's, okay. it's, it's this weird childish high school tactics that everyone's using. Nothing is logical. Yeah. Nothing is fucking logical. But yeah, no one. They don't give a shit because they're like, ah, oh, they're Russian. So now, the so three years ago, it would have been sad. But now, but the same innocent people died. So, so if if Hamas, for example, let's say right now, the Palestinian Authority, the Palestinian Authority is Hamas, right? They're the ones that are elected. If they drop a dirty bomb somewhere in another country, let's say they start another war somewhere, so does that mean that now everyone's going to be okay with Palestinian children getting killed because now their government started a war somewhere else? Because that's what you're saying with what how you're acting with the Russians. Yeah. Yeah, no, 100%. That's what I mean by people are fucking idiots. They don't know. They want to pretend they're good people, but it's like their goodness doesn't exist anymore, and they're pretending to be nice. And they're trying to figure out, how do I pretend that I care? That It's, it's like that's what they're doing. They don't actually care because if they cared about decency and human life, it would be global. It would be the whole thing. This is unacceptable. I don't give a shit what the kid is. Like I'm not going to I'm not gonna ask. If someone tells me, dude, a kid got killed, I'm not going to be like, what's he Greek? <laughs> and then if they say anything else, I'm like, ah, all right. That's fucking crazy, bro. That's crazy. 
And yeah. that's what they're doing. It depends what the kid is. It depends what the person yeah. is. Depends what the victim is. Who gives a shit what the, who the victim is, bro? Is there a victim? Is there an innocent victim? That's a problem. That's sad. That's what, especially a life. You can't buy it. Like a life is done, bro. You lose your life. Your life is done. It should be worth so much more. And we don't care depending on the race or the religion or depending on what life is. So no, we're not good people is what I'm trying to say is we're scumbags. You are either openly a scumbag such as myself where you don't hide it. Yeah, or, or you pretend or you to pretend. not be one. And I, I prefer I prefer people being open. Like I'd rather know if you're a racist. And I'd rather know so I know what I'm dealing with. But I have a lot of people in my feed that pretend they're good and I want to help the Palestinians. I want to help the Jews. I want to help the I want to help this. And then I notice when push comes to sub, when they're actually tested to see if they're real human beings, they're a piece of shit. They're like, I'm not going to do that because it's not part of the trend. Mm. Oh, okay. So it's a trend thing. It's not, you don't care about human life. It's not the Palestinian children that bother you. It's not the Israelis. It's none of that. It's not the Ukrainians. It's you want to get the clout. But that's fucking insane because people are actually dying. People are actually starving. So it's, it's, a, it's an actual real fucking thing. You dumbass for fucking three likes. <laughs> so what, <laughs> what you're saying is that um, these, like the other people who aren't getting the attention need better PR teams. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you need better PR. No, it's just, <laughs> if, if gotta, we were all being... honest, if we were all honest and the argument right now is, guys, this is unacceptable because of humanity. So the, the Armenians need better PR right now. The Armenians need huge PR. But what's happening t- with the Armenians, the Azerbaijanis and the Turks is unacceptable right now in 2024. And the biggest unacceptable thing is that we're not talking about it because it's not trendy because the media hasn't told us it's trendy because the media can't spin it in any positive way because we're supplying the people who are killing them. So we don't want to talk about it. Trudeau can't come out and be like, yeah, the Armenians asked me a couple times not to supply Turkey with those drones, but we want to make some money and fuck these Armenians. He can't say that. He's going to get fucking killed. So we just avoid talking about it. It's crazy, but it's happening. Same thing with, I think Netanyahu said something crazy about the people, the innocent, even guy from Montreal, the guys that died. He said something like very callous. Well, yeah, fucking shit happens or whatever. Like, And even Trudeau. Trudeau actually had to say something. Trudeau's like, yo, you can't say it. Like, that's unacceptable. He had to actually publicly come out and be like, that's fucking insane. Even him, and he's a huge pushover, even he was like, Jesus Christ, that's disgusting. People don't care, bro. People don't give a shit. The majority of people don't give a fuck. I'm sorry to turn into a downer, but it just made me very angry. No, but you know what? The I was, fakeness. I was thinking the same thing. Like, when the whole Russian thing happened, I was expecting, like, big outlets to pick it up and people to be Nobody outraged cared. and not even people that are us- that I usually see online that are like this is terrible for anything else not even the same people that are outraged for other things and, and the like, Russians who supported the Americans after 9-11 who sent the memorials yeah. who always whenever something happens any other attack or whatever they always come out and they're you know uh, against that shit and they always support the western side and all that and us it's anyways when I was when I when I noticed that like you I didn't I wasn't as heated as you I was just I felt a little like uh, defeated is the word yeah you know I was like Ugh, this we is- went we supported we were with yeah. George Bush in the fake wars that didn't need to happen in the Middle East who destroyed Iraq Syria we contributed to that should the whole world hate us now as Canadians yeah. because our government did that I didn't I protested the war but my government still went should I you know should Syrians beat me up. Should Iraqis hate me by association? I don't hate Turks. I don't want anything bad to happen to Turkish person because they're Turkish. I think it's ridiculous to think that way. They're innocent people. There's people who... I don't like their leader. I hate Erdogan. I'm never going to take it out on an actual human being. Of course. That's insane. Yeah. Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm not very sorry. It wasn't my intention to make it negative. It's like you were sick for a few days and you you, you had all this pent up inside. <laughs> for real, it was making me angry. It woke yeah. me up. I was thinking about this one night. It woke me up at night thinking about this. I was like, wait a second. What the fuck? I go, what is wrong? Like, this world is crazy. No one values human life. It's not that no one's angry about that. They're angry that their side is getting fucked over, but not that it's a human life. I think also another factor that plays into all this is that uh, when that thing happened in Russia... They actually caught the guys, allegedly. We don't even know. I don't. They th- beat the shit out of the water. I don't think it's it all crazy. of the guys. Cut, cut one guy's ear off. It made it made immediate. Did you see that? They, good, they electrocuted bro. another man's balls. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 100% good. Uh, fuck those people. They should have done more. They should keep them alive for the next year and torture them. Okay. Well, the, the, I, well, I don't know about that because <laughs> okay. you can't survive that long. In a year, torture, you're going to die. Yeah. Your body's going to give out. But they're getting all the information they can out of them. Yeah, of course. Um, I think the CIA was behind that one. You think so? But I was going to say, I think also the reason why people didn't react the way we expected them to react is because they got caught and they saw... No, 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 no. You don't no. think so? No, no, because the problem isn't the attempt. 
The problem is people actually died. There was tragedy. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, the right, issue right. is that innocent people died, and that could have been in another scenario. Let's say it's in Montreal. That could have been me, you. That could have been our families going to a theater. Innocent. That have yeah, nothing to do with anything. A hundred percent. And that's how people don't see it, and that's what fucking bugs me. I'm surprised people didn't come out sympathizing with uh, the the terrorists. But that's the same thing that bugs me with, uh, with when Palestine. There's certain situations where it's like egregious. A place shouldn't have been bombed. Let's say because there's some places where you get why they bombed it, and then there's some places where you're like, that's a hundred percent just casualties, just kids right getting killed and stuff like that. I'm like, guys, I understand you don't want any infrastructure because you don't want Hamas or whatever. But right now, fifty kids. That's it. That's the only people that died. You know, so that kind of shit, that kind of shit fucks with me because it's just kids. You're not, and also because of that, the next generation is gonna fucking go crazy because they're gonna remember that shit. And same thing happens with the Jews. Uh, There's a bombing somewhere. What do you think is gonna happen to the young Jews? They're gonna be like, wait till I get old enough to join the IDF. And it's this vicious fucking cycle because it's no longer human anymore. It's teams. Like fuck that guy, bro. He's on another team. We have to find a way to get past it. We have to find a way to. you, You need actual strong leaders to sit down and be like, this is fucking retarded. I don't give a fuck about losing some face, both of us right now, but this shit needs to end. Fake alien invasion. N- no, you uh, can't have that. Those are weak leaders. They're going to the globalist <laughs> agenda. You need strong leaders just sit down and be like, look, I'd rather sacrifice some shit right now, monetary, whatever the fuck it takes, but no more lives on either side. And I'm talking about for all the wars. And we move, this is crazy, but we're all going to die anyway. Didn't Trump do that for a while? He did that, yes, because he doesn't give a fuck. He's like, I don't give a shit about your problems. Stop. Yeah. But no one else wants to say that because there's the money United involved. State- the United States could actually, like, if we're being honest, most of the countries, they could wipe them off the face of the planet. Yes. The United States is the one giving the, all the weapons now to it. Israel yeah. wouldn't be this cocky either if they knew yeah. that nothing could happen to them. No. Yeah. Ha- bro, Hamas, most of Hamas's weapons came from the States also because they were weapons, a lot of them, that were sent to the Ukraine that found their way back to Hamas before the <laughs> October 7th. You know that, right? You know what it's like? It's like... It's uh, all the same, bro. The weapons are coming uh, from the same fucking like, people. Uh, I, Israel's just like a gambler and everyone's enabling them. They're like, no, 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 one more. I'm going to get Hamas. One more. One more. One yeah, more. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get it. I'm going to get them. Gonna that's get that's them. what it feels like. Just one more. One more, man. That's Come what on. it feels like. And people are like, bro, you realize there's nothing left. It's rubble. You even went to the... Th- bro, they bombed the refugee camp. <laughs> no. Bro, they bombed. There's like, this is a refugee camp. Well, those are, so we're going to bomb that area. And then they bombed the refugee camp. <laughs> it's we're talking about what's happening is insane. Oh, that's crazy. It's insane, bro. It's all crazy. We're very bad. We're very violent as a species. Humanity, yeah. we're very we're quick to the violence. We don't want to just shoot the shit a bit. It's yeah. always it's always conquest. It's always it's anyways. I'm very dude, I, I really didn't want to make this negative. I'm fucking I apologize. It's okay, you have a very nice sweater. I really like your sweater. This was a gift my wife got this to me. It's a great gift. It's a very nice sweater and it looks like it's, it's a good quality too. Christmas theme, yeah. Nice. I like it, and I felt oh, Christmas, Christmas theme. Yeah, they're wearing little hats. It could. I be didn't good. notice that. <laughs> oh yeah, it is definitely. I didn't see it. Yeah. You're, you were like such a cute little kid presenting that. Oh, my wife got it for me. <laughs> nice. Sometimes I get gifts too, bro. It's not all you. <laughs> She's like, enough of these fucking sexy flower shirts. They can't the Ninja Turtle sweater. <laughs> um, you heard about this eclipse, bro? What's going on, man? <laughs> Am no, I gonna, I've been am I gonna go w- blind because you know I'm not putting on those stupid fucking glasses. I don't have any stupid glasses. I'm gonna wear my sunglasses. Look you know, up. Cool start, bro. They have the fucking stupid it's sunglasses. No good. Here are my arguments. <laughs> Here are my arguments against that Poseidon. Okay, <laughs> and I want you to find any flaws. Okay. Right now, you could look up at the sun, right? Yeah. Okay. So then, why would it be worse to look up at the sun again, but this time the sun is also additionally blocked by a moon? Okay, what they're saying... Hold on, <laughs> hold, hold on, on, hold on. Before you go, I'm not done. I thought the same thing. Science I have, thought the same thing. <laughs> yeah. I have another problem. And okay. I went down the rabbit hole. Yeah, yeah, I have another problem. That was one <laughs> argument. The other problem I have is that they keep declaring states of emergency. Well, Niagara Falls? Yeah. Well, because there's going to be too many people going there. There's too. There's more people than they it's can Not just Niagara Falls. There. A Where lot else? of people... Everywhere. Yeah, like go anywhere look. Anywhere in the line. Anywhere in, in, the, in line. the line. of the eclipse. So this is what bothers me that drives me crazy. State of emergency, why? Because it's going to be night for eight minutes. Yeah, but it's night every night for hours. Why no, the fuck the are we declaring a state of emergency? Dude, not people are, of the let me explain something eclipse. to you. Last time there was an eclipse like this, what did they, they, were, they put out on the news, oh... Prepare, na na na, this and that. I think people genuinely panic. Like some somebody said, so I saw a video, bro, and I almost lost my goddamn mind. Uh, I thought I thought I was actually gonna die from like hyperventilation. He said, 
uh, the moon. They're saying it's the moon, but it's actually an alien mothership. And he went into this whole rabbit hole of how, like, it's actually fucking aliens. All right, well, I didn't know he was making good points like that. <laughs> if I was going to know that you were going to make this much sense, I would have been scared. I was gonna- <laughs> so the whole thing, apparently, of, of the glasses. First of all, I think it's a marketing scam just for some people to make some money. How do you make money off this? Yeah, you, you can make uh, Amazon. You buy them off Amazon. Oh, glasses, you mean? Yeah, yeah, the glasses. The I'm paper, glasses. paper it's like, glasses. It's like $10 or some shit. They look like 3D movie glasses. Yeah. But Monday night, let's have an eclipse party. <laughs> that, 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 so, that, that. so I think it's just a whole marketing thing. A, B. But the news is, uh, is in on yes, it. Yes. They're saying, yeah, they're saying that basically when the moon moves out of the way, that little glare is more harmful than like just looking at the sun. But that is the sun. Yeah, but it's the fact that it's a... Gl- I don't know. Why- Hold on. <laughs> he's like, yeah, he's explaining. Wait, let me Google it first. It doesn't make any fucking sense. But anyways, I'll agree with him you know there. When, you know when I'm not like, going to look no, directly... You know when the- it's like pitch black in a room, yeah. and you've been in the darkness for a while, and yeah. then you open the blinds, and it's like, ah. ah so maybe, yeah. It's I like, think that's what they're trying to refer... And it actually kind of makes sense, but I think it's more... Of a- I don't think it's as bad as they say it is. Look, it doesn't matter. I mean, I have the habit of not looking directly into the sun since I was a kid, like because they told me that, so it's in my head. So I try not to unless I'm wearing sunglasses. <laughs> yeah. You know, because uh, that's... Why don't you just put on sunglasses and Here's what not sun. to do safely. <laughs> Normally, I put my sunglasses on, and I stare into the sun, <laughs> and I squint, and I go, I'm going to get you. <laughs> I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, big boy. Uh, so, But what bothers me is that they go state of emergency because it's going to be night in the middle of the day. Yeah, for eight minutes. Some people it's s- night every night for hours. Some religious uh, people on the internet are saying that we're going to have three days. It's the three days of darkness, like in the Bible that it says. And that apparently Tell that to the Alaskans. People are going to lose <laughs> their goddamn mind, apparently. I don't know, bro. Honestly, I just... I ho- Honestly, I kind of hope people lose their minds. I kind of hope. Like, we need... like. You hope it's the end of the world? A, a bit, bro. I'm, like, I'm getting tired. Every other day, there's something else, bro. Like, I'm fed up. I hope we don't get nuked accidentally. <laughs> accidentally. <laughs> Like, I'm tired, bro. Like, I, fuck, bro. Just make it the end, bro. So we all fucking, you know? Like, every day there's something, man. I'm tired of hearing it all the time. And when you try to hear it, you hear it from somebody else. It's fucking annoying. Anyway, sorry. It's so, okay. uh, are you scared of the eclipse? Because I got to be honest, I don't give a fuck. No. I don't care. <laughs> Is it look safe to guy. look at the eclipse through a camera? Can make that guy, bro, really can you show that bro. Down syndrome camera guy? <laughs> I really want to meet that guy, man. Holy shit. Nah, bro. What no is this? Like, I take a picture with my forehead. They did the guy so wrong, bro? Oh, look at this. this poor is crazy. guy, bro. Get his name and his number. Look at this. But not for nothing. Like, oh, it's because it's on his fucking stand. Yeah. Gonna make the stand a fucking foot higher, bro. No, I, think I love not. how scared he is, and look at the guy to his left, bro. The guy to his left doesn't give a fuck, bro. Directly. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, poor guy. We're just ripping him. Good oh, they guy. did him dirty, though. Yeah, hundred percent. Good guy. Hundred percent. They did him dirty. Well, I don't know if he's a good guy. He could be evil. No, no, good guy. Good guy, bro. He has good a guy. sex den good in guy. his it's basement. Friend. It's my uh, friend uh, Jimmy. It's my friend Jimmy Schlums. Oh. Can I hold on? Go up. Go up. Can I say the experience is good enough at 99% totality? Can I say the experience is good enough? Am I allowed, Poseidon? This is what I hate about this fucking generation. Poseidon, leave it there. Leave it there. Did you read that, bro? Yes, I did. This is why I hate this fucking generation. This is why I hate the fucking Washington Post. Can I say the experience is good enough at 99% totality? So a lot of the belt that people are going to see it is going to be 99% of the eclipse, not 100% eclipse. There's only a small belt that gets to see it 100%. So they're basically saying... If it's an, if I'm at the 99 range, is it cool enough that like I can talk about it and be like it's a crazy experience? Are you all fucking mental, bro? Who gives a shit? <laughs> Still, nothing's gonna beat, bro. I saw the meteor shower when I was a kid. Nothing's ever gonna beat that. Fuck this eclipse, bro. I saw a full on meteor oh, shower. They, they bro, you. nothing's gonna beat uh, Poseidon. Actually, took a shower once a year. <laughs> it can actually burn a hole in your retina. They say. The sun is the most powerful source of energy in the solar Fake system. Fake news. It's Maybe the it's most like, bro, you know when you put a magnifying glass and you burn an ant? Yeah. Maybe it's like that because it's like a little sliver, so it's going to burn your eyeballs. I th- that's what people are saying, I think. 
That's well, like I said, I, I'm I'm not gonna look directly into it, so I wouldn't suggest anyone does. I might not uh, even look at it, but bro. I don't. Like, but I'm, I'm getting annoyed. My question was, I didn't know if I wasn't looking <laughs> I into it because if, I was taught as a child <laughs> not to, or because it's really dangerous. If anyone's gonna look straight into it, it's gonna be Peter Bowen. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be at work one day, go outside, his like, shit, man. <laughs> look up and just. <laughs> he's not gonna tell anyone his eyes are fucked up. We're just gonna be on secret shows. He's gonna be rubbing his eyes like Peter. What's wrong? He's like, I looked at the eclipse. <laughs> can you see? Nah, but I can fucking hear. I'm fucking daredevil. Are you, are yeah, you? Peter would have echolocation. Yeah. <laughs> he's not gonna be good at it though. <laughs> he's gonna be bumping into shit, but no, like the way he needs to go. But he could only echolocation only works. He could only find his way to Bustan. <laughs> <laughs> It's boost down in the airport. That's it. <laughs> it's too fucking funny. Then, but then he walks into boost and he's like, "What's up, brother?" He daps up the guy that's working there, but it's just a homeless guy sitting down at a table. <laughs> he's like, oh, you, you, you smell different. <laughs> you smell funny. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it is what it is, homie. <laughs> it's too fucking funny. I love the way he talks. To him. Damn, you know, you know how it is. You know, <laughs> the solar eclipse. Jesus Christ! Fuck everyone. Yeah, apparently we're going to get three days. And apparently, like... Uh, we're going to get three days? I thought it's eight minutes. It's eight minutes of darkness, but then the three days of darkness are going to begin and blah, blah, blah. And then... Wait, hold on, hold on. I think you're mixing up conspiracy theories with actual science. They're all mixed up at this point. There's no way we have three days of darkness. That can't be true. If there was three, days, three days of, of darkness, absolute darkness, well. trust me, you would have heard about it. Yeah, bro. That's something they would warn you about. <laughs> They're flipping out about eight minutes. Yeah. Imagine three days. Yeah, look, people are talking about it. Will there be three days of darkness in the eclipse, April 8, 2024? Who are these people? people? Right? No, three minutes. You fucking <laughs> idiot, yeah. Dude, this is What's like Yahoo today? questions all over again. <laughs> okay, we're three days away. I love that people on Reddit are answering basically the Poseidons. You have a Poseidon be like, are we going to get three days of darkness? And someone's like, <sighs> Listen, retard. <laughs> Three minutes. Bro, there's this fucking thing they do on TikTok where they post a vague video where you need to ask a question. So people go in the comments. And most of the time you go in the comments with questions right away at the top. Whoever posts the video knows that everyone wants to read the comments to figure out the answer. They delete every comment that has the answer. So then it's just a bunch of random ass comments that you keep scrolling and then you stay on the video longer and you get boosted. You never get your answer. And it's uh, so sad. That's poisonous. Yep. We're an insane Bro, the, the, the generation. TikTok, things that they do to get their video views, it's crazy. We got to train Borgelli so he could take over all our social medias. Yeah. Does he know all this stuff? No. Um, he knows, like, how to do it. He can do it. He doesn't know the, like... Can he do it? <laughs> he doesn't know the, like, the tactics. You know what I mean? But it's always changing. There's always metas. You got to update your TikTok meta like fucking any video game or anything, you got to be the one to figure out a new meta. If we could figure out a new meta and be the first one on a meta, it's over. I so need What's a new meta? Sorry. So I need like a girl. A new way of playing the game. Like yeah. a new like strategy. Like, like uh, sometimes like in a game, everybody figures out that if you use this gun combination, it works out really well. But then everybody knows and everybody's using that gun combination. But now since everybody's using that gun combination, if you use this combination instead of that, that's the new meta now. And you could beat everybody because they're on that old meta yeah. still. And then yeah. by the time everybody knows, you got to make a new meta. By the time everybody knows, you got to make it's just a cycle. I need to find a girl in Montreal, and I'm saying girl because normally they tend to be way better at this. Okay. The dudes that I've tried to get to help me out with the social media shit are always they're like me. We're, we're just like monkeys. Yeah. We're like ah, post like we have no idea what we're doing. I gotta find a girl who's very good at this and just give it to her. Being like, look, I'm giving you all the videos. I'm giving you. The, you don't have to edit anything. We're doing it for you. Borgelli's cutting it anyway. Just, bro, just, just fucking post get and us, tag. Get a circumcision. Go to the fucking powerful Jews. Go no. say what's up. No. Fucking dap them up, bro. Bruch no. Hashem. No, I'm going to talk Christ is King, and they're going to get mad at me. <laughs> they're going to get mad at me. <laughs> Did you see who said Fuck, I was watching something on, on Twitter, and it made me laugh so much. I was like, they, they're mad at me. I said Christ is King, so I got fired. <laughs> No way. Oh, Candace Owens got fired too. Yeah, oh, Candace yeah. Owens got fired. Oh, what was her thing about again? Uh, well, look, the truth is her and Ben Shapiro, Josh Shapiro's estranged uncle, were feuding for a long time. They haven't liked each other for a minute. 
And it all started when he was talking shit about her at a public event. Do you remember this? No, I don't know any of their shit. He was speaking to your desert people. Yep. And someone said, why are you letting her? She's criticizing Israel. As if Israel is without criticism. You can't criticize Israel. Yeah. So he's like, I don't know, I'm against that. You know, should I make her? She doesn't know what she's talking about. Yappy, yappy, bro. No, 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 no. You know, he's doing his fucking thing. <laughs> and then that came out. Someone videotaped it. And she goes, yo, what the fuck's he doing? Talking about his coworker, one of his employees, talking shit about me. And she's like, what did I do wrong? You're allowed to criticize everyone. You're allowed to criticize me. You're allowed to criticize Israel. Like, are we saying that Israel did not, has done nothing wrong? They're just a perfect country? That's never existed. There's no perfect country. Greece is not... There's no perfect country. It doesn't exist. Everyone yeah. does stupid shit. Poseidon, can you look up the quote of Ben Shapiro saying something along the lines of, like, he doesn't want his wife wet? Uh, do you remember that? Oh. Just look up, like, Ben no, Shapiro. No, no, he said his, his wife, wife is not wet. He goes, if my... Uh, wet, I, 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 my pussy's well time. If my wife, I'm going to say something right now. If my wife's vagina was always wet, I'd get her to see the doctor. <laughs> uh, ben Shapiro's wife, a doctor, convinced him that it's uh, normal. He doesn't get her wet. He probably boasts about, uh, about it. They have two kids. Oh, my God. Uh, ben Shapiro sharing with the world that his wife, oh, that's the same one. It will be... It will never be surpassed, but get the actual tweet because the tweet was fucking hilarious. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. Maybe if I go on Twitter. Twitter, Google. Oh, fuck yeah. Because that, that was funny because everyone just destroyed me. He was making fun of the song WAP. Okay. And he goes, Oh, yeah. Wet oh. ass. So she, it's wet all the time. And he's like, What do you have, a venereal disease? <laughs> <laughs> if it ain't a slip and slide, I don't want it. <laughs> Why are you looking at high school kids? I don't know, bro. It's a humiliation thing. The first time, um, no, not the first time, but like very, very early in my, um, one of the first few times I got a girl naked, I thought she was so wet and I was like, fuck yeah, dude. And I realized years later, it was just so much discharge. Oof. It was just stringing everywhere. And okay, I was I like, stop, fuck stop, yeah. Stop. <laughs> You know, I, I don't have, I'm too sick to, to not puke. <laughs> I didn't know what discharge was. I'll click on it. There you go. Hold on. Let me show it up for the peeps. As I, uh, as I also discussed on the show, my only real concern is that the woman involved who apparently require a bucket and a mop get the medical care they require. My, my doctor wife's different diagnosis, bacterial vaginosis, yeast infection, or trichomonas. Trico Muni, I love that. It's tricky, <laughs> tricky veg. <laughs> Trico Monis. You might have one of these tricky vagies. These you tricky need. vaginas. Yeah. That's funny. But that is so funny. He's like, you're, you're, uh, yeah, he was saying on his show, he's like, this is crazy. They must have a problem. Why are they wet? <laughs> that is funny, though. Oh, is that Abigail? No, it's not. I thought it was Abigail Shapiro. Apparently, people like his sister, but it looks just like him, no? Look up Abigail Shapiro. Uh, Abigail Shapiro. I really hope the first picture is a good one. Come on. Aww. <laughs> what the fuck is this, bro? Which one do we? Oh, that one, that one. No, left. We're in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Here? No, well, up, 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 up. It's up. Oh. <laughs> this is fake, no? No, no. it's not fake at it's all. It's not fake. <laughs> That's her tits? <laughs> yeah. Damn! It's one of my fun, like my, one of my favorite memes. <laughs> it's Abigail Wait, Shapiro. this is fake though, no? No, no. No, it's no this is fake. It's no. not fake. It's not fake. Trust me. You tell me that's her tits. Look up, just Google. Yeah, that's go a mom, Google. bro. Go on Google Abigail Shapiro. Hot. <laughs> no, no. Add is hot. She, is, add is, hot. Is she like a Jewish? Decided. Add hot. Because <laughs> you, you you would know. Is she like a like a Jewish sex symbol? I don't. I don't. I, I think more of like a. Anti Ben sex symbol, you know what I mean? Like, yo, she's got milkers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, it's an adult woman, Poseidon. Then pull up, pull up. Oh, go this up. one's fake. That's it. That's not her. Go up, pull up the one, both of them next to next to each other. Where? Uh, like four rows, four rows in. Where? That's three rows in. One more row. There we go. There, there. Click on it. I could see the resemblance. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. I see it in the chest mostly. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely has like the smallest, like he's not a fat, but he definitely has like little tiny tits. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, like when skinny guys still have. Hold on, I may have to remove this from the people seeing. Oh, what? They made a. Uh, uh, no. Oh, she no. does TikToks. Yeah, massive, though, massive. 
God damn, those are how, wow. That's not real. <laughs> it's AI, <laughs> guarantee. That's impressive. And she's Jewish. I almost watched an AI podcast yesterday, fully what? AI created. Uh, between, I'm not gonna let the robots win. Between Rogan and Drake, it was it funny? I got like two minutes in, and they were just talking about AI, and I was like, obviously AI just wants to talk about itself. Fuck that, and I stopped listening. Yeah, and also AI is never gonna understand why things are actually funny. Yeah, and it was just like it was so funny though at the beginning when Drake said like, "Thank you for having like, thank you for having me here." It was so Drake. It was so Drake the way he said thank you, but then immediately Rogan's like, so how do you feel about that AI-generated song of yours? And then Drake's like, it's interesting, man. It's interesting, and I just turned it off. No, man. that's not. If it was real, he would have. If it was Shh. real, Drake, he would be like, damn man, dems, uh in Tarana, bro. I can't stand it anymore. I keep seeing fucking dude. I'm going crazy with the, the way, Toronto man's accent. She looks yeah. like she's she fucking insane, bro. She looks it's like a she looks horrifying. Like a, she looks like a sexy giraffe. Well, we know what Poseidon's doing when he gets home. I don't see it. That's, how do you find giraffe sexy? No, 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 no I don't find she, giraffe sexy. Giraffes aren't sexy. She looks like a giraffe, but a sexy one. Yeah. I don't. You find she looks like a giraffe in nope, her face? She has all. a very long neck. No, no, I'm talking about it. the neck. Look, yeah, that's a very long neck. One, I guess that one set that of pictures. One photo. That is a, no, 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 no. That is a long neck, my boy. In that Look how one far set away the necklace is. You balance, bro. It's physics. Yeah. Oh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Imagine she had a short, tiny neck. <laughs> That's not her room. Impossible. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, she doesn't look like she's a mess. No, no. Oh, so, uh, sorry, continue. Well, saying the Toronto man's accent is getting worse. I have a... I your, saw algorithm, a your algorithm knows you want it. Maybe, because I saw Sometimes these two you girls. Hate watch stuff. These two girls, they yesterday night I was scrolling, and these two girls in Toronto, bro. It's like, what's the worst Toronto? And then right away, bro, like, man, uh, well, I don't know what the fuck they said. Fucking Bramptons, man. The man dumbs over there. The, and I was like, what the fuck are they saying, bro? You, you're two women. Why are you speaking like retarded giraffes? Like, what the fuck is happening? And they're going crazy. Yeah, they want that beef. We don't want beef. And then she's like, we don't want beef. Your pussy stink. Like, it was just <laughs> random words. It's just <laughs> random words. And, and these are people who are living in can society. You, can you look up a uh, little Debbie compilation? Shout out to Lil Debbie. I think she passed away. R.I.P. Who's Lil Debbie? Oh, you, we showed this last time, bro. I got really angry. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. 100%. Who's Lil Debbie? What? No, Lil Debbie Toronto compilation. Lil Debbie. I, don't know. I prefer this Lil Debbie. No, oh, look at Lil, wait Lil a second. Debbie, Toronto. The chubby girl. The like redhead. Is she fat? Well, not really. Like a little oh. bit, I guess. Because I remember those. There, 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 there. The video. Deb Who's this? Oh yeah, her. She's dead. I think so. No, oh, bro. Sense. How'd she die? Hey, what's up? Yo, you're in the interview. I'm just warning you right now. You're good, though? Oh, you're in the interview thing right now. Yeah, he's like, yo, I'll call your man. I'm like, okay, you think I don't have a man? Say back. I, I love you, eh? Love you, too. Uh, yeah. So I don't have a man, eh? That brought a tear to my eye, Debbie. I, I love you, eh? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Wait, how did she die? Uh, Look up little... Debbie passing away. Is that like fake internet shit? Death, yeah. Did they kill her? Oh, that's terrifying. Uh, Debbie um, uh, passed away in a shelter from a oh, drug overdose. Oh, come on, man. That's fucking terrible, bro. Damn. She was in a shelter, too? It was drugs. Yeah, that's how she ended up. I'm telling you, dude, this generation doesn't realize. No, no, no. It's, uh, yeah. Drugs, it's... There's just yeah, so much we'll, fun. We'll put another video of her uh, talking. Hold on, we don't want to get taken away. Even last night, even if it came out that he was a rat, you could push that stuff aside. Mm. So people not to realize what he did. Because he has that type of power. Yeah. I feel like if he went to go kill somebody right now, he could hide that. Even if he got caught, he's getting he's getting away with it. She have a little lisp too. <laughs> yeah, she has a huge lisp. There's nothing little about her. It's like she's a <laughs> she's like avoiding. Okay, yeah. There's one guy? So I'm not removing his name. Gotcha. But every other name, I'm removing. I can see, like, fame right here. Like, boom, fame. Yo. Get Debbie getting padded first, and then we can talk, okay? <laughs> <laughs> say less, say less, say less. Um, say less, say less, say Bro, this one, this one busboy at uh, Stogie's, everyone used to call him a jag. His name was Brad, so everyone would say Brad's a jag. What's a jag? 
I don't know, like a jag off, I guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so like uh, everyone would say Brad's a jag all the time. This one waitress literally got Brad's a jag tattooed on her. That's huge. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> mental. Poseidon, what would it take for you to get Brad's a jag tattooed on your chest? Uh, at least a hundred million dollars. It's mental. She bro. has so many tattoos though, so it kind of blends in, you know. But it's, it's That's still there. Mental, it's mental. She must have really loved that jag. <laughs> he paid for it. <laughs> so wait, I have a question now. You know this whole P Diddy, uh, uh, uh gay hip hop empire that yeah. they're calling. Did is that why Tupac and Biggie died? No, no, it's not why they died. Um, it, it's uh, Tupac died because um, he was Puff Daddy was scared that Tupac was gonna kill him. Oh, why? So, because Tupac wanted to, f- he was oh, super he thought, pissed off. He thought they robbed him in when he went to New exactly. York. Exactly. No? Look yeah, up, yeah, look yeah. up, look up. Do. Tupac, they think I'm soft or something so, like that. So he was super, super pissed off. And so he said, you know what? Every time we go down to LA, our lives are in danger. Uh, so my people get beat up. Go videos? So he put out a hit on him. And I think he only paid 100 G's to get him killed. It's like a video of like Tupac really? sitting in like a studio. No, I don't think we're going to find it. Yo, you know, what's that, Bobby Altoff? Yeah. yeah. Apparently the internet turned on her now. They hate her. Uh, I think she's leaning in. I think everything she's doing is part of what she's doing, and she's good at what she does because she keeps growing and making more money. That's why I thought she was growing, and then yeah, someone yeah. said, oh, now the internet hates her. She's done. I was like, why would they hate her? She's, it's it's the same interview Yo, she's look always at been this. doing. She just keeps, yeah, she's growing. She's doing well. What? Okay. Look at the recommendations. Jesus I Christ. can't see that far. So it's, uh, it's basically a bunch of accounts called Bobby Althoff Leak. Yeah, dude. That's what Twitter is now. That's it's what Twitter crazy. is now. It's just it's porn. It's insane. You tweet anything that gets traction, bro, you're gonna fucking uh, get nudes. She's not. Account. People make fun of her for being ugly. She's not hideous. The, the oh. way they talk about her, she's cute. She's not the hottest chick, but she's cute. Yeah. I, people talk a lot of shit about people's looks. When, yeah. like... That's what it is. We were watching. I was watching... It uh, doesn't make sense. Like, you, like she's not, like... Uh, a, like a hideous person to make fun of her looks. But it's because She's a good looking person. Of what like standards are now, you know? Like, it's, But I feel like it's fake. It's made up because who doesn't, who thinks that's a hideous person? Well, that's it. It's just people on the internet. People are fucking insane, bro. People, that is why it's, that's why people are just doing drugs. <laughs> like these kids are doing drugs. Why is the Bobby Altoff? That's what he wrote. I really hope the, <laughs> the people watching Why so many people can't Google stand search? Bobby Altoff? Let's see this. So he's not the first person. La di da di da. Has go up. That first line is you. Bobby Altov has pooped. <laughs> <laughs> has popped up on the social media thing. Uh, by creating content about being a young mom, although it was pretty successful and gained her 1.2 million followers, she decided to completely shift gears and rebrand her image in 23. Good. People who liked her before hate what she's doing now because it's completely like a 180. Yeah, but it's funny. All no, this. but yeah. I saw her fighting with, uh, what's his name, uh, Santino? Yeah. And it was funny, bro. He was fucking know, with her. Yeah, it's very funny. Yeah. And she's she's good at like leaning in and it all like looks real. Yeah, and, like, yeah. it's yeah. fucking, sure. I, that's why I'm like, people are fucking. Because like, I got to say, like, like she did the the, the one that she, like, it didn't pop her off, but it like led The Drake her. thing was huge. So no, so the funny Marco one was the one that really got her to Drake. She wouldn't have yeah. got Drake if she didn't get Funny Marco, but she wouldn't have got Funny Marco if she didn't get Rick Glassman. So she got oh, Rick yeah, Glassman. Rick Gra- I remember that one. That's the first time I saw him. Hilarious. Like, very, very, like, he didn't know really what was going on, and he, like, couldn't tell because she really commits to it. Yeah. And then he had her on his podcast, and I got to say, it was great. It was really good. I he, like him, too, by the way. Yeah, he yeah. makes me laugh. He's very funny. Yeah. Um, okay, so you know how I'm kind of crazy with stand-up that, like, I hate... Well, no, I, I don't think I'm crazy for this, but I hate people who are kind of like one foot in, one foot out a little yes. bit. And I really like just like people like commit and like, let's fucking do this for real. You want them to ruin their lives like I have. Exactly. Go on. Yeah. Um, fucking Tony Hinchcliffe, uh, apparently back in the day, he did a Rick Glassman podcast and I watched it. And Rick Glassman's like, you know, you were really mean to us back in the day. And uh, Tony's like, I wasn't mean to you. I was just mean to your friend. And he's like, yeah, but you were wrong about him. He's very successful now, and he's doing really great in his career. And Tony's like, is he a comedian? <laughs> and it's like, no, he's not. And he couldn't do it, and he was right. And I just, anyways, I, I just, it was not a bit, the whole podcast, and it was great. Yeah, no, I like Rick Glassman. Funny dude, very, very funny dude. And, and he was like a real one. I like him. 
I think he's cool. Poseidon. Very funny. Very, yeah. very funny. Oh, by the way, tonight, I'm going to try to get this out quickly, but tonight, Secret Show. Yeah. I, I haven't advertised all week because I've been sick, but the best show in the city, bro, every fucking one is mental. I can't even say what happened last week. It's the secret show, but you were there for a very intense situation. It was a crazy secret show last week. We cannot talk about it because you got to be there. Yeah, I'm going to be late at every secret show for the next month, obviously. But, you're, but it's but still it not matter. that late. It's no, by the time, it's by the time you guys start. And also, you told me you were going to be late and you were early last time. Yeah, and I wasn't early. I wasn't early. I was late. Uh, I came like. I uh, know, but still. But no one noticed because everyone's having such a fucking blast. It's That's such it. a mental show. Yeah. Uh, I'm really loving it. And then. It's, have you noticed that after Secret Show, there's the credits, the post-credits with yeah. Peter Bowen, <laughs> George it. Sealy with the music on yeah. and all that. It, it's just little things are happening. It's grown into its own fucking thing. It really is. I know that people are trying to steal the name and I, I know people are trying to pretend like, no, no, the, the Secret Show is actually here, whatever. The Secret Show, Montreal Secret Show that everyone's talking about is the third floor comedy club, Friday nights, starts at 11 p.m. and it goes until who the fuck knows and it's that's still the a 100% success rate like nobody yeah. has come to the secret show and not been happy and it's no. that's almost that's like impossible with shows yeah. and the secret show has just been so good every single time but you have to be a real comedy fan like or you will get offended oh god bro Borge and I we were doing open mic live and we're talking about gambling at the beginning and we tell this one guy who said he's a gambler we're like let's all go to the casino together after the show and it was like kind of like a bit like obviously we're not gonna go and then this guy in the audience comes up to us and he goes I've never gambled before can we go to the casino together? What? <laughs> like, so me, Borge, Sam Adamo, and this guy all went to the casino together. It was a great night. But the guy, like, we kept losing him. And he just kept coming back looking sweaty. At the end of the night, he said he lost 20 bucks. So it was oh, like, Oh, fuck. Oh, he's lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, not bad. I thought it was going to be like, I no longer have a place to live. <laughs> but uh, it was just like, I don't know. It was, we should have filmed it. Yeah, yeah uh, Open Mic Live, also very fun. So we're doing things. I'm getting back from my illness. Uh, next week, there should be a lot more podcasts coming up. Me and Poseidon are going to have to negotiate schedules because he's got standing by and we got to record a lot of podcasts next week. So it's going to be a very gruesome, grueling week for me and the big guy. Uh, but we're going to make it work. So thank you all for listening. Ciao. <laughs>